Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. In today's video guys, we will share the torque specs for the, uh, for the crankshaft caps okay, on Hyundai Elantra. If you have a Hyundai with a 1.8 engine, uh, you know, they're knowing for having that engine knock. And ours was a piston slab, you can find out the video on the channel, we have more than 200 videos taking the whole car apart, anything from mechanical to electrical work, so check it out. So, we had our engine block board out, next step with the oversized pistons, now we have to put everything together and we will show you what the torque specs will be for the, uh, for the, crank, uh, for the crankshaft caps right here, the two halves that meet each other and the sequence and all that stuff so stay with us and we'll show you how to do that in just a minute so we have the bottom halves lubricated already of the bearings uh, the side bearing there as well okay you can see on both sides everything should be like super super clean like pharmacy clean so now we're ready to go ahead and get the crankshaft and place it uh, uh, place it where it's supposed to be now Okay, on top of the on top of the box, we're we're going to lubricate all the spots where there is a bearing. Lubricate it really, really good. Not to have a dry spot. Okay, that's the rear main seal there, pretty big one. So. If you want, you can replace that one as well. Now that will be the time to do that instead of taking your engine apart again. So you have to make sure that everything aligns really good. Okay, you can see the side bearings. You have to make sure that those are in, in the correct way. Now, <coughs> this half right here needs to be super clean. Degrease it. Uh, get some alcohol, uh, wipe it or acetone to make sure you don't have any greasy spots in this half as well and this is because we need to apply a sealant if you don't you're going to have an incredible big leak oil leak so you have to apply the sealant in the correct way otherwise that leak the only way to fix it is to take everything apart again so we'll start applying the sealant, all the parts and tools that we use will be listed in the description of the video below guys, so please check it out for your convenience. Now you want to apply that sealant on the inner side of the engine bolts there, because otherwise you have a leak. So that's what it looks like, as you can see that's how we applied ours. Here you actually have to go on the inside of the hole, but we went on the outside as well, if it comes out we can always wipe it there and fix that. Next we will lubricate all the main bearings because we will need to put the second half on top of it and we want to do that on the bottom one that half that we are doing now otherwise when we flip this one upside down it will leak out. So we get the half now okay and we are ready to install it. You have to get it right from the first time otherwise you are going to mess up the silicone. Okay perfect you can see it just like that. New bolts will need to be installed and do not lubricate them. Some people will lubricate them and that's very wrong. Okay, those bolts you do not lubricate. And we're going to show you, okay, the torque sequence for those once we install all of them and just get them tight by hand until they're tight all the way. So we'll be using the torque wrench now. We'll be, uh, the first step is 20.3 to 23.1. Uh, food pounds, uh, if you use Newton meters you have to convert that, so we'll show you now what it needs to be. It's very important once you hear the click to stop immediately. Okay, listen for that now. This is bolt number one that we need to get tight. Okay, still needs more. Okay, right there, you can see. Now this is ball number two.
Okay, this is board number two. Now board number three is right there. Number four is, okay, this one here. Number five will be the one over there. Number six, we need to come back to this side. Okay, and number seven is the one all the way there. Number eight in this corner. Number nine will be the one over there. Okay, it will be any minute now. Okay, right there, and number 10, the last one on this side here. And then we have step number two that we need to do. Okay, almost there. Listen for that click now. Okay, this is the last one. So the next step will be, unfortunately I won't be able to hold the camera and do that because two of us have to hold the book. We need to do 120 to or, uh, all the way to 125 degrees. So if you start here, you need to stop like about right there. That's what it needs to be, about one. 20 to 125 degrees that's what the manual says for step number two and you do exactly the same sequence as we did now so we already did number one okay and now we're going to do number two okay right there this is number two number three now it's number three number four Okay, right there. Number five. Number six now. Seven would be right here. Eight. Nine. And the last one, number 10. So on the outside while the silicone, the sealant is still soft, we're going to clean it. That way we don't have excessive amount later. Okay, you can see so it can look real nice and clean. So do that while it's soft. So we installed the lowercase bolts now. 
and we'll just get them tied by hand until they stop going and after that I'll share the torque specs and the sequence with you it's very important sequence again do not get them too tight now uh, for the torque specs according to the menu it says 13.7 to 17.4 uh, pound per pound feet so 13.7 to 17.4 uh, in newton meters that will be the same as 18.6 to 23.5 and we'll be using a smaller torque range here that's more precise and since the range is between 18.6 to 23.5 newton meters we'll use about somewhere in the middle about 21 newton meters and that should be that should be pretty good now we'll be using an extension so that will set our torque off a little bit uh, but that's fine I mean it's not of a great importance even if it's just a little bit off because it's a big range that they gave us so if we, if we set it towards the higher end that will be great ok now we start with number one on the left side here of the oil filter Yep, this one right there and here the click now ok this is it now number 2 is on the back side right here in the center perfect once it clicks you need to stop now number 3 is the one right there yep this one right here number four the one inside number five okay let's see number five is towards the back okay this one there perfect number six yep this one here and number seven now all the way towards the back number eight will be this last one on this side okay you have to be careful when it flips perfect okay now number nine is all the way there number ten and now uh, number eleven is upside down on this side of the oil filter, right there ok, great so thank you guys for watching, please subscribe, many more videos to come on the car if you need help with anything, drop a comment, we'll try to make a video, see you next time